Okay, so you looked at the problem and now we're going to solve it. But we're not only going to solve the problem, we're going to learn a method by which you can solve basically any uh, dynamics problem, any Newton's law problem in two dimensions. The first step, as always, is to write your givens. But we're also going to draw a free by diagram. Free by diagram givens, I want you to think of as basically the same thing. So I've written down some of the information. We've already looked at the free body diagram of the person pulling the box. So I like to draw my free body diagrams as a box. And I'm going to put 20 kilograms inside it. First question, is there gravity? Well, of course there is. It's going to be down. Uh, just to make things easier, I'm going to assume that G is 10 meters per second, instead of 9.8, just to make the numbers work out more smoothly. In which case, F, G, will be equal to 200 newtons. Is it resting on a surface? Yes, it is. So I've got to put in the normal force, Fn. Is there an applied force? Certainly, there's a person pulling. We're going to call that Fa, force of 40 newtons. This angle is 30 degrees. Uh, fourth question, is there friction? Yes, there is friction this direction, opposing the motion, and friction is 10 newtons. This box's acceleration will be to the right. We'll call that positive. Have I forgotten anything? Looks good. So all the forces are there. All the givens are written down. I've done my first step. Second step is to define the x and y directions. So I'm going to call to the right, which is the direction of acceleration, I'm going to call that x, and therefore I'm going to call up y. Having done that, I look at my free body diagram, all the forces are in the x and y direction already, except for fa, so I'm going to resolve all forces into x and y components. Luckily, all that work is done for me. The only one I actually have to do is the applied force. So I've got an Fx and an Fy, and I'm going to go ahead and write Fy over here as well. I've got to work out what those are. Fx is obviously going to be 40 cos 30. Okay. I grab my calculator. And it works out to be about 7. No, 34. <laughs> oh, man. I should have known it wasn't 7. We should have planned this ahead. What the f*** are we doing? Uh-huh. So the x component is 34. Or newtons. Similarly, in the y direction, 40, sine 30, no need for a calculator here, that is simply going to be 20 newtons. Okay, so I've resolved all my forces into x and y components. Now all I've got to do is apply Newton's second law in both directions, in the x and y direction. So, in the x direction, fx minus ff equals fa. In the y direction, fn minus fg plus fy is equal to 0. Now I'm pretty much done. I just need to solve. I've got all the givens. I dumped them into each equation. Part A, I believe, asked us to find the acceleration of the box, so I'm going to use the x direction to do part A. So the answer to part A, notice all this work I've done before I've even decided which part of the question I'm answering. I just go ahead and I do it every time, even if I don't know how it's going to get me to the answer. I just trust my physics teacher. I believe that it will get me to the answer. So A, therefore, is going to be equal to uh, 34 newtons minus 10 newtons divided by 20 kilograms, which equals, what do we say, 1.2, 1.2 meters per second squared. Going for part B, because that's easy, A is 1.2 meters per second squared, it's positive, so it's to the right. 
For part B, I'm trying to find the normal force, so I rearrange Fn equals Fg minus Fy, 200 newtons minus 20 newtons. Therefore, the magnitude of the normal force is 180 newtons. I write my statement. <laughs> 